But one of the things that happened was that I had the TV on the news. And I couldn't turn it because I just listened to so much news about COVID. You know what I'm talking about? Right. Uh, uh, and it was given, I, I, it was given the death toll. Uh -huh. yeah. I say the devil is alive. Yeah. I'm not going to be one of them. Amen. Amen. And I thought about what the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. Casting down every imagination and every thought that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. My God, and my knowledge of God, God has just told me a couple of nights ago, you shall live Come on. and not die. Yeah. Come on, y'all. That's why you have to declare the word of the Lord. Amen. So today, we're going to try to encourage you from Jesus. the thought Jesus. that after I declared the word of the Lord, the Lord spoke to me. Oh, yeah. God is still God. Regardless of your crisis, on, regardless of what you're going through, boy, I'm feeling this thing today. Good, good, good. Regardless of what you're facing, yes, yes. it don't change the fact yes. that God is still God. Yes. No yes. matter how great it gets, yes. God is still God. Yes. And so that's what God wants us to realize. Jesus. So the message today is not only to this church, but to the church of the living God, regardless of what you're facing. Jesus. God yes. is still God Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So regardless of your crisis, yes. and one of the things the Lord ministered to me and my wife was trust the journey. Yes. Mm -hmm. Often I hear elders say that each one of us got a journey. Y'all, you got to trust Amen. God for the prospect of your journey. Amen. We all going to the same place but we have a different path, yes, different journey. Yes, so God wants us to trust the journey today. God, I pray right now that you will give us the tongue of the wise yes. to speak the word in season to him that is weary. Amen. God, and we'll be so ever to give your name the glory down in the praise in Jesus' name. And the people of the most high God say, Amen. 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 Four and six, and I'm gonna turn it over to my wife. Uh, Isaiah 54 and six, and the new uh, in the new international says, "See, it is I who created the blacksmith, who fans the coal into the flame, and forges a weapon fit for its work." So when God is molding us, yes. There are some things that he created, tailor-made mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. yes. My God, when we asked the question uh, many times, we talked and we still do. We was careful. We took appropriate guidelines, but yet it still, it come out of the way. Yes. Time and chance happened to us all. Baby, you can do the right thing. Yes, yes. You can do the right thing. But something that God prepared you for, uh, you're going to go through. Yeah. You hear that? You're going to go through it. Yeah. And so now we're seeking the Lord on what he wants us to do Amen. since we came through. Amen. And the scripture said, and, no, uh -uh, and forge is a weapon fit for its work. And it is I who have created the destroyer yeah. to wreak havoc. So God have allowed some things to come our way. Yes. Verse 17, no weapon form or force against you will be successful. And you will refute every tongue that accuses you. For this is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. Amen. Thank you. My Amen. God. Amen. Come on, saints. Just give God a praise right now before we go. Come on, give him a praise. Come on, give him a praise. Hallelujah. You know, this journey has been so enlightening for me yes, in yes. so many ways. But I'm going to stick with the scriptures because one thing I will not do, I will not take God's glory. Come now on. that I will not Come do. On. The book of Daniel, the second chapter, and the 21st verse. 
And I'm going to read from the CV. It says, he controlled the course of world events. Wow. We talking about God. Come on. Come on. God yeah. controlled the course of world events. Yes, so why are we worried about all the things that's going on in this world? Come on. You know, we're trying to protect ourselves from everything. Come on. Yo, we just got to trust the sovereignty of God. That's it. We got to trust that no matter what happens, yes. God got us. Yes. He got us. And I'm going to tell you, through my journey, I was like, Lord, I was quoting the scriptures. I shall live and not die. I said it every day. Come on. And declare the works of the Lord. Yes. Yes. This I know God is for me. These are the things I see. Yes. And I was talking to Sister May, I think about a week and a half into it. I said, girl, I wish I could tell you that Psalms 23 was the first thing I thought about. Mm -hmm. When I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. But you know what? I fear evil. Mm -hmm. I fear. I fear. Because when I first heard the verse, you got COVID. Uh -huh. Come on. Y'all, yeah. the Lord wasn't the first thing that came to my mind. Come on here. And then I, I, you know, but then I had to go back and just remember yeah. who I was. Mm -hmm. And I got some folks that I knew would pray yeah. and begin to seek God. I know some folks were scared. Mm -hmm. I was scared, y'all. Yeah. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I wasn't Come scared because I was. Uh -huh. But then God came in, saints of God. Hallelujah. Come on, stop, stop. He came in and he let me know, uh uh, uh, -uh. you shall live. And not die. Yeah. And declare the works of the Lord. Yeah. I call you for greater than this. Yeah. Yeah. And when I began to just really seek the Lord, I said, Lord, where is this terror coming from? He told me Psalm 91 and 5. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror. Yes. But y'all, that's what's taking a lot of people out. Yeah. It's the terror. Yeah. It's the terror. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, the terror and the isolation. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's Ooh, it. When I was isolated from my husband, I was so Come on. lonely. Come on. Oh Come my on. God. I was lonely. See, people don't tell the truth. Come on. Come that's on. Why, if we yeah. just tell the truth, a lot of people yeah. would be yeah. saved. Yeah. Be tell you people say. how they got yeah. through. You tell say. people tonight that you had to stand. Come and on here. Tell people to pray for you. Yeah. I had a sister walk this journey out with me. She would call me or text me at 3 o'clock in the morning and say, go to sleep. I got you covered. Because you know my what? God. I remember Come my testimony that AR by now gave. He said, you know what? I was afraid to go to sleep. And he said, because I knew in my sleep the enemy was going to try to take me out. Come on, here. But God told me the enemy was going to try to take you out, but he's not going to take you out. Because I still got work for you to do. Yes. Glory yes. to God. So that's the thing that we got to do. We got to trust yeah. that God got us. Yes. We got to trust and he, and he got us. So when you hear that word, COVID, it already puts that fear and that terror in. Yes. Because we lost so many. Yes. But y'all go back to go back to Daniel, two and twenty-one. He controls the course of world events. Yes, it's God yeah. that lifts up one and takes down another. Yes. If God, I don't care how you try to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. If it's your time to go, yeah. you are going. Yeah. But thanks be to God. Yeah. God, God. I tell you, I was like uh, Matthew twenty-four. I said, God, why have you forsaken us? We have done your work. Yeah. We were doing, you know, I was doing a Hezekiah. I was going back and saying, God, all the stuff that, you know, we tried to keep the church together. But God just let me know this was a season that I needed to go through. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cry my way through it, so y'all just pray for me. Thank you for joining us today in the first part of our broadcast title, Our Journey with God. Please tune in next week for part two as Apostle Milton and Mother Janice Harper continues to talk about their journey with God through COVID. Have a blessed week.